Well, she was a real person, and we're going to tell you her story. Her real name was Joni Loudy, and she lived about 300 years ago in a cottage with her six children. Now, Joni was poor, and she used to go around the neighborhood begging for food. Sometimes the farmer's wife would give her something, but other times she was shooed away empty handed. upon those who refused her. The cow's milk would dry up. The horse would go lame. The hens wouldn't lay their eggs. And Joni got the blame. But Joni was also known for doing good deeds. Once, a farmer and his wife came to her in desperation. The doctor says there's nothing he can do. Joni tended to the child that night, and the next morning he was right as rain. He lived to a ripe old age, married, and had twelve children. With each charm, curse, and cure, Joni's reputation as a witch grew more and more. Dark and stormy night, a traveller was in need of shelter. He walked searching through the wind and rain, battling the elements, and came upon Joni's cottage with a dim light flickering in the window. Half hoping for no answer, he gave three timorous knocks. The door creaked open. And there stood Jody. Come in out of the cold. <laughs> you can rest there, but you must sleep with your face to the wall. Traveller drifted off. He saw strange shadows on the wall. So, Joni, stepping into a big basket, the door opened, and with a whoosh, the basket flew out of the cottage, <laughs> carrying Joni away. Ooh, I must have been dreaming. <gasps> he slept soundly till dawn, when the door creaked open again. Joni returned with another whoosh, <laughs> stepping out of the basket as the traveller watched, carrying fresh herring and vegetables, as well as mayonnaise, <laughs> 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 tuna, by witchcraft began to spread throughout the neighbourhood and she seemed to enjoy her fame. Another traveller spoke of how she was returning home one night and seemed to sense someone's presence. Dead. And no one could get it going again. 
ever. Joni was arrested and charged with practicing witchcraft. She stood trial before Bishop Wilson and his clergymen and found her guilty! 14 days in Peel Castle and a fine of three pounds for you, Joni Lowney. You will stand at the market cross and just show everyone your crime. Now, the punishment might sound harsh, but Joni was actually let off very lightly. If she had lived in England or Scotland rather than the Isle of Man, she could have been hanged or burned at the stake. After her release, she returned home, and as far as we know, Joni Lowney lived a quietly ever after.